Alright, hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you my latest update to my spammer program. I've made a few changes. Um, the main change that I've done is that it's much more stable now. There's no funny errors that can occur. For example, in the previous version, if you typed in something random and you started spamming, you could then try edit the something that was spamming and it would retype in what it was spamming. And that could then cause problems. Another thing that could happen is if you pressed a button whilst it was spamming, it would um, crash the program. So now, um, if you press a, br a button whilst it's spamming, it stops spamming, and it pr makes it much more stable and it's much better to use. Um, basically, all the functionality around it is still the same. And if we were to press start spamming, it still does exactly the same thing. But now, as I said, if I press set spam speed, for example, it'll set the speed that was specified in the button, and it also stopped the spamming. So we can still press 5 for example, set spam speed, press start spamming, and then it goes at 5 milliseconds. We, For example, if I was to press help, before it would press OK, OK, then press help again. But now that I've pressed, now that I've enabled this new code that I've um, integrated into it, it'll prevent it from crashing and it stops the spam once you um, press any button and it disables the ability to edit the, the text in either of these buttons. Um, I've also put a picture in the background as you can see and it's semi-transparent so it's pretty cool now um, guys please can you just comment on it and tell me how I can improve it recommend any other programs you want me to build anything I'll make a tutorial behind how I built this with explaining all the code if you wish so thanks for watching this video please download it I mean it's a pretty cool program um, it's pretty hectic thanks for watching please comment and subscribe